by the greetings my dear friends my name is Viktor Fursov and today June 16 2019 and I'm very pleased to show this video to you from this apiary of my friend Vasil Priyatilenka and this apiary is located uh, quite close to Kyiv just 40 kilometers near Kyiv and I'm very pleased to talk about this beehive of construction by Vasil Priyatilenko because he is very unique Ukrainian inventor of very special beehive. Well, you say beehive have been invented many years ago. Nevertheless, there is a space for improvement always, and some Ukrainian beekeepers are very innovative. And Vasil Priyatilenko is the one and the best. Because this beehive is just one construction of his beehives with the same structure as here. And I explain you how it's working and what is inside this beehive. First of all, you have recognized already that this beehive has three chambers. One, two and three. Upper, middle and the down part. And also there is some space after just near the bottom. So this is the bottom part. Four parts, by the way. And of course, the main, what is the main structure is inside. Inside there are a lot of very special this kind unique frames and by the way this frame with foundation and all of them they have a very special structure because these frames they have this part this is you see very unusual upper part of this frames. And why? Because here there is a metal. There is a metal line. There is a metal line on the upper side of these frames. And this is N-shaped N-shaped line from a metal, done from the metal. So usually this is upper part just wooden. And every chamber has a frames with a wooden upper part. But here metallic. And why? Because this construction is making the unique structure of this beehive and making all improvements of this beehive, which is making its, this beehive is unique, productive and very effective. And these are not only words, these are real facts. Because this beehive has been tested for the last 10 years and all these frames have been modified during these years and have been tested. And first of all, you see here, this is most important, this is this part. This part with this narrow deep frame. This is brood chamber. In a brood chamber here, we have 12 frames of this size. This is standard Ukrainian size and this part has 12 chambers. 12 frames and then you see down part will be like this sorry like this so this is a middle and this is a down part and the down part we have eight frames eight frames of this size you see this is no no middle size and positioning is here transverse so crossed crossed frames here will be in this position this we say entrance warm entrance and here down part will be crossed and then I can show you and then on the upper side upper chamber has also crossed crossed frames and you see all chambers will be looking like that so all frames they united and they are Crossed. On the upper chamber will be also eight, fra eight frames. Middle 12 and down 8. And by the way, if you can see here, all these metallic parts and wooden parts, down parts of the frames, they will be connected. Because of the connection, so here there are some connections, like here. You see small part, small wax connections, about one centimeter or less. So they're interconnected. They're all interconnected all together. 
They easily can be reconstructed, decomposed, because all these chambers can be disconnected easily. It looks like they will be connected strongly because of this wax between them. Here you see 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So here for 10, so not for 12. It can be different for 10 or for 12. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 11, 12. No, no, no. Here for 12. Right. Middle part with 12 frames. And here this is interconnections. You can recognize here this wax part. So, uh, why this con construction looks like that? Because the middle part, this is a brood chamber. Down part will be a brood chamber again. After just connection in, in April, in the beginning of May, in April. So, because uh, colony will be growing, it's important to imp improve the space. So, colony will be very big already in May. So, we will be working hard. And so, in May, we put already upper part here with the foundation, just with a clean foundation. So, honeybees will collect it and harvest honey in upper part. So, this is that's why you see middle part this was with a brood. You see full brown color. All here was a, just a brood. And only a little bit on the upper part here, a little bit honey. But mostly here was a, just a brood. And this clear oh, yellow part will be just with a, only with honey. So not like this. So in connection, not like that. Not like that, like all in a normal multi-story beehive. Connection is different. As I showed you, uh, here like this, then like this, and then down part like this. So this is a real construction of this beehive, how it's working. So that's why honeybee is collecting honey in upper story and will be very clean, ecologically clean honey without any sugar, without any additional sugar. Uh, Vasil Priatenko, he is a beekeeper who doesn't feed bee honeybees with a sugar syrup. So only natural honey. Middle part, this is a brood chamber, and down part, also brood chamber. That's, it's providing very strong colony, big size colony, very effective and very productive. And big colony working very well, and if there are enough flowers, they will collect here very clean and safe honey here. And the construction of this beehive and this beehive will be disconnected in uh, autumn. Well, and in, after that they will overwinter just only on this part of brood chamber with this kind of frames. So this is a short uh, description of the, how this beehive is working. Thank you for watching. As I see here, maybe some part of honeybees are going to swarm, so I will check where we are going to be, or maybe I will try to record a little bit uh, video about it as well. Thank you for watching. Press likes and write your comments and ask your questions if it was interesting and entertaining for you. Yes, we are trying to swarm and so we will be stopped somewhere here. I need to jump and record this video as well. Continue. Thank you for watching. Bye bye. See you soon on my channel. Cham channel. Nice to see you again. Bye bye. Viktor Fursov. Today, June 16, near Kiev. Be, be keeping up your Vasil Priyatelenko. Bye bye.